We are kicking off Craft Beer Week here in New Hampshire. It starts today and we're going to be showcasing some local breweries. You know, there are 64 craft brew houses in New Hampshire and we're joined now by Hobbs Tavern and Brewing. You folks are located in West Ossipee yes. and we have Jason and Randy in here. I know, Randy, you deal with all the, the brews and you have them canned up now, right? Yeah, we just started canning two months ago. So our first two flavors are One Arm Farmhouse Ale and our Swift River IPA. All right. And what are you making? now Jason so here we have a 12 hour braised short rib that we braised down in our oatmeal stout and we pick that up with mushrooms leeks top it with a local bacon shallot marmalade that we make from North Country bacon fried onions and finish it with some microgreens. Oh my gosh, it just smells delicious in here. I wish you had smell a vision because you're missing out unfortunately <laughs> right now but I guess we're gonna have to go to Hobbs right and you're located right on uh, Route 16. Correct, yeah, we're just south of Conway. So just uh, go right through the lights if you're going north, and uh, we're going to be on the left in Old Red Farmhouse. All right, and so you guys are kicking off Craft Beer Week we here in New Hampshire. So tell us a little bit about what you have going on for the week. So we're going to, each day of Craft Beer Week, we're going to pair it with a different dish. So pair one of our beers with a different dish for the whole week of Craft Beer Week. That's awesome. And, and tell us about some of the, dish, the dishes that you have planned. Uh, we're, we're currently working on the menu for mm -hmm. it, but um, we'll incorporate the beer into each dish, dish, uh, dish that we do. Gotcha. And now, Randy, tell us about, about some of the other brews that you have. So we're actually going to end Craft Beer Week. Next Friday, we're releasing a brand new beer. It's a Raspberry Goza. So it's a sour, salty wheat ale, and it's actually brewed with toasted coriander and Isles of Shoals sea salt. Wow. Uh, and then we age it on 50 pounds of raspberry. So that's going to be our first sour beer that Hobbs Tavern has ever brewed, and we're going to release that next Friday. That's amazing. So you're always looking for new flavors and new ways to kind of uh, tempt our taste buds, I guess, there with your food and Absolutely. also with the beer as well. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, what is your favorite item on the menu, and what, what brew does it use? Um, we, a lot of our menu is gluten-free. Um, we showcase that uh, gluten-free. and. We're starting to incorporate the beer a little more into the food. My favorite dish is the aged ribeye that we dry age right in house for 21 days. Wow. So a lot of work goes into that. A lot of work. <laughs> and if you want to find more information about some of the events that are going on, you can visit nhbeer.org and you can find information about Hobbs and other uh, brew houses that are going to be offering events throughout this whole craft beer week. This just looks amazing. And tell us, so you finish it off with a little bacon on bacon top? Bacon and fried onions and... It and there you have. Our guests. Oh, just beautiful. Well, thank you both for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you for it. having us. And again, a craft beer week runs all week until uh, next Saturday, and you can find more inform more information on the events at nhbeer.org.